how did Einstein say it? He said, we can't solve today's problems using the same thinking we used when we created them. That's what happened to us. The old model was is that we took all the evidence and we loaded it into the expert physician mind or the nurse's mind and then expected those people to apply it to patients from memory. What we see is failures of care associated with that approach. It requires a new environment, a new structure, a new framework within which to practice. And Intermountain, frankly, was the group that developed most of the methods that are being broadly used today that eventually led us to quality improvement theory. Basic idea, you pick a high priority clinical process. You build an evidence-based best practice guideline around that process. Now, that step is rife with difficulty. It's almost impossible to build a guideline that really works, but build one that's close enough anyhow. Step three, blend it into clinical workflow so that it doesn't rely on human memory. It's a way of dealing with complexity. You build it into what's called standard work, so the standard work remembers what's supposed to happen. It takes our most important resource, that trained expert mind, and allows it to focus in on that relatively narrow area where you can still be the expert. Again, it's a very potent tool for dealing with complexity. In parallel with the workflow, build in a data system. It's going to track what happens to the patient, technically intermediate and final clinical and cost outcomes. So we can see the consequences of our choices and decisions. The last step, of course, is called a lean learning loop. You take the data, you feed it back to the group so they can see the consequences of their actions. They use it to modify the protocols. Within the first months or years of its use, that feedback loop will change it dramatically to match up to measured reality. That's what's been producing the results. So it's a way of organizing medical information, not just organizing it, but deploying it. Not just deploying it, but generating new evidence for the next cycle, you see. We call it a learning healthcare system, and arguably Intermountain is the best example of a learning healthcare system currently operating in the world.